More help could soon be on the way for families around the county. It includes a proposal to extend a local moratorium on evictions, as well as millions of dollars in emergency funds. News 8's Evan Arani joining us live now to break it all down ahead of a big meeting today. That, uh, excuse me, next week, that is. Evan. Exactly. That meeting is going to be on Tuesday where the city council will be voting on that eviction moratorium as well as the funding, kind of the criteria necessary for who will qualify for that funding of $42 million of federal aid. Now, this comes every several months since the pandemic began where we've seen these ex expiration dates on these eviction moratoriums. The new expiration date that will be set if this ordinance does pass is it will be 60 days after the expiration of the declaration of emergency. So once that emergency declaration expires, uh, renters will then have 60 days until that moratorium expires. The mayor says this is beneficial to any tenants or renters in the city of San Diego, and uh, the money that could be used to help those renters is going to be very beneficial as well. His first priority is helping San Diego respond to and recover from uh, the, the pandemic. Uh, and one of his long-term uh, goals and priorities uh, is to solve our homelessness crisis. And so the last thing uh, that San Diego needs uh, and the last thing that San Diego's families need uh, is to worsen uh, that crisis and find people out on the street. And Mayor Todd Gloria says $42 million in federal funds will be made available as rent relief to families around the county. That money will be distributed by the San Diego Housing Commission and application details will be made available once they pass that legislation uh, at that city council meeting. On the eviction front, the California State Legislature had passed a moratorium preventing eviction through January 30th, so through the end of this month. Gloria says he will bring proposals to the city council on Tuesday to extend that moratorium until two months after the city's emergency declaration declaration is lifted. It's estimated that 700,000 households across California are in jeopardy of eviction and would benefit from this type of uh, ordinance. The same proposal will apply to struggling businesses, preventing business owners, for example, from being evicted until June 30th or 60 days after the emergency declaration is lifted, whichever comes first. So the mayor says that this is a pivotal part of uh, his uh, being in office, is being able to help people with this issue. Of course, no one really expects when they enter office for this to be the central issue, but uh, Mayor Gloria did run on being able to help families and help businesses amid this pandemic. He says this is part of doing so. Again, this comes up for the vote on Tuesday. Tuesday will be when they discuss the criteria necessary for who will qualify for that $42 million in funding. That's when that application will be able to go live uh, after that meeting. That's also when they'll vote on the extension of that eviction moratorium. I'm Evan Irani, News 8.